What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today. Genuinely, just a quick one, right? I just want to talk about a few bits and pieces, just a bit of an update and stuff, right? So I want to talk about kind of the direction that Konami are going in and also talk a little bit about a new feature that they've added. For anyone that missed it, there is a coin sale on at the moment uh, for 3,500. Obviously, if you missed that, you know, if you don't get coins, that's fair enough. But just to let you guys know, there is one on mobile as well, but not on Steam for some reason. I don't know, you know, if you guys play on Steam, how you feel about that. Do you actually buy coins or whatever? But also another feature that they've added is the means of actually getting a player for free doing a challenge event. And I think that they're testing this. This is obviously, I did a video very recently about earning a player by playing the game instead of just logging in. Like how easy would it have been for Konami to just literally put one of these three players into a box and give you a free spin at one of them. And it's just, you know, click, click, click boom, you have your player, nothing. Now, at least you have to actually do something to get it, right? But I think the big change that I want to talk about today, right, and I've covered this in my other video, is about the contract situation, right? So, you've probably been playing this game for a while, but even if you haven't, you probably have players that are out of contract, right? So, if I go back to when I first started playing this game, to my original first ever signing on the club was Patrick Vieira with the veterans bonus. So, what happened with this veteran bonus was... If you had played Pez all up along, or if you played the beta, you were able to unlock rewards that when eFootball officially launched. You can see here that this Patrick Vieira that I had um, was like, is, is two years old, is nearly three years old. This match is played is 4-4-2, his goals 29, whatever, but his contract is expired. So I actually can't play him, right, unless I give him a contract. And what Konami have been doing over the last couple of months is they've been slowly reducing how many 60-day contracts that you've been given, right? So a 10-day contract, you can see that I have 211-day uh, contracts. You can get these by, re re you know, actually releasing players and stuff. But what it meant was that for players that you had, it was going to get difficult, f like, on, towards Christmas time, it was going to be very difficult for you to play and keep old cards contracted. And I was kind of thinking to myself, this needs to change, right? It definitely needs to change. So, for example, this old-school Neymar here, right, with PSG, was one of the first ambassador packs that they brought out, right? And I reckon the reason that Konami are going to do this, and it's just me thinking it, and as I said, we did a video, we predicted this a couple of days ago, you can go back and check it out, and we talked about a couple of features that they've added, and will continue to add. And I will always try to give you a couple of hints, boys. You know that. If you watch me long enough, you watch me hard enough, and you pay enough attention, I will give you a couple of little breadcrumbs to follow, right? But for example, with this Neymar card here, if you've got ball control, dribbling, and type possession on this Neymar, obviously you're looking at it and saying, there's nothing special about him, Barry. What are you saying? I mean, it's not. But where I think these players' popularity and these cards' popularity could come into it is if they make some sort of system where a rarity of a card comes into it and the rarity of the card would drive up the cost if they ever bring in a transfer window, right? Or a transfer market, I should say. So you can see here that I have pretty much got, you know, how many players? One, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just down to here, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Just down to here, I've got 150 players. Like, I probably have 130 players that are out of contract. So any of these players that I have now, if I want to continue to play with them. So, for example, one of my favorite ever cards, Tommy Yasu. Tommy Asu has got near 500 matches played, right? Any of these cards that I have used or I would have got towards, towards the start of the game. Romario, the original Romario. Romario's got 559 matches played for me before I got the new Romario. Puyol, another really, really good card. 252. Um, Ronaldinho, the original Ronaldinho, 407 matches before I upgraded. Maldini, Maldini with 558 games played for me. If I was to keep all of these in my rotation, it would just be impossible because you're not getting the contracts enough to be able to warrant playing them. So I want to let I want to know what you guys think of this feature and also to ask you a question as well. Would you like to see this expand for the reset as well? Now, where I want to go with this is for at the moment, right? If you've got a player up here and you want to train a player, it's going to cost you if you want to reset them. So say for example here that I just train up, you know, Reynaldo and I make a mistake and I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's only going to cost me 81,000 to reset this player. Now, they do do free ones, and that's what I'm asking you guys to get a bit of feedback. Would you like to see the reset feature actually go the same route as the contracts, where it's going to be the contract situation is going to be gone? So after V4.0 and after the next big update, 
all of these players will be a usable for me. I won't need a contract. I won't need to spend a contract on them. And I could start a starting 11 with Inzaghi, Vieira, Romario, Puyol, Ronaldinho, Maradona and Donnarumma and Maldini and Pique and never have, I don't have to give them a contract back. It'll just automatically put, a, put them playable. They won't need a contract to play, right? Would you like to see the same route go for the player reset progression? Because at the moment, I see a lot of people give out about it. But I also see that, like, from the other flip side, from me as a content creator, I see builds the whole time. People send me builds the whole time, and, you know, I see mistakes that people make with their builds for the, for the player that they're using. I think that there is a bit of skill in building a card in eFootball. Like, I definitely think that there's a bit of skill, and there's a bit of a skill gap and in the knowledge that you need to know with how the players play. But also, I do think it is a bit ridiculous that you have, have to pay so much. Like, for Ribery, it's going to cost me 600,000 GP. In order for me to earn 600,000 GP with the current system, it, it just isn't worth me resetting the player. So I have to sit with a build that I'm not fully happy with. I can't train players. I can't test out players. I can't swap players. I can't make, you know, a Ribri with 90 acceleration and compare him versus a Ribri with 99 acceleration. Um, I can't make a Cristiano Ronaldo with 99 finishing compared to Ronaldo with 89 finishing and things like that. And as a content creator, it can be frustrating, but... They've gone this route with the contract situation, as you see here. They've already announced it, that it's going to be completely gone um, with the contract. So for V4.0 and based on feedback, we have decided to remove the player's contract altogether. It's going to be completely abolished. You will be able to use all and any player that you want without having to worry about your contract duration or having a contract. It's just going to be gone. In its place with the contracts, at the moment, if you release a player, you get a contract. So if you release a five-star player or whatever, you will get a contract, right? Um, so any of these, if you wanted to release them. So say if I was to release this guy here, right? If I was to release this guy here, this is what you get at the moment. You get your trainer program and you get your 12,000 GP, but he's a four-star. He's a four-star player, okay? You can still renew him or whatever, but if you were to release a five-star player like Kevin De Bruyne or somebody like that, you will get a contract situation here, right? So I will get the contract here of 10 days. I'll get my GP and I'll get my trainer program, but it's only a five-star player. So I think now they're going to give skill trainers. That's just my prediction. But let me know what you guys think. Listen, it's just kind of uh, putting it out there. Credit to Konami in fairness. You know, it's a huge thing for some people that want to test out cards. I know people that want to play with their day one squads. That can't because of the contract situation. And now that's going to be fixed and going to be added to it. And I definitely think it's the right way to go. Even though I can see that the contracts, there is a bit of a, you know, wanting to upgrade your squad. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, it's just something, you know, they've been working on a couple of bits and pieces. I covered a lot of other stuff in the other videos that I did. But let me know what you guys think of the contract situation. Is it a plus? Is it, a, is it an up? Is it a down? And also for the player reset, would you like to see it go 100% free or just an R? Would you like to see it go 100% free or would you like there to be a, a more GP to be able to get to retraining and have cheaper training uh, costs? Let me know what you guys think. But that is just a little quick update video and I will chat to you in a bit.